Okay, now here is our finished rug, and I just want to show you what the back looks like. As I said, as you're working, you want to any kind of um, like loose ends and and unneat pieces. You're going to push to the back. So as you can see, that's what I've done here, and the back looks different from the front. So keep that in mind as you're working on it that you want to just kind of poke through to the back any of these loose ends. These are going to be the places where you joined the the braids um, and some of those um, pieces where you um, where you go around the the edge where you um, where we we extended the strip of fabric by going around a bend. So that's what these are and you want to make sure you push them to the back. Now another thing that you can do to finish off this rug is you can sew together a couple more legs of fabric and we can sew on a little backing here. So you just cut it to fit the, the rug exactly. So cut the copy the shape of the rug. And these rugs don't come out perfectly oblong or perfectly round. They're, they're always a little bit misshapen. And that adds to the character of the rug. So you'll trim all the way around it. And then you just fold, um, fold it under a little bit. And we're going to hand sew or hem all the way around sewing this backing onto the bottom of our rug. And then you can you can sew it all the way around and maybe make a few little um, tacks like just in a few spots on the back you bring your needle up and then cut cut the piece like that and sew some little ties to hold the backing onto the back of the rug. Okay, so this is a little bit of a finishing thing. You don't need to do it, but it's a nice touch. So you'll just hem that. You'll just turn this under all the way around and basically do just a simple hem all the way around and then a few tacks in the middle. And then your carpet is finished.